All right, guys, I'm gonna make a miscellaneous black galaxy piece. I don't know where this recipe's gonna go. You're gonna have to watch the video. Hope you enjoy it. See you in a minute. Let's do it. So this is just gonna be the undercoat. So I'm just gonna do a very thin coat of uh, Black Galaxy here, guys. And all that is is clear epoxy with our silver glitter and it makes a really fun recipe. Let's do this. Popsicle stick. That's actually a very subtle black galaxy because we're going so thin. That might be an unlock right there. It's, it's just, if you want a very, very subtle look, do about one to two ounces per square foot and then just trowel it out really tight like this. And you're gonna get a really uh, neat black galaxy that's, that's subtle, man. Golly, that could be a recipe right there. I'm just gonna use that brush and brush long horizontal strokes just to kind of get it somewhat even. This was just some leftover epoxy from a project we just finished where I did outer space with a, a wormhole in it. Let's make this look like some granite. So that's a really cool undercoat, you know what I mean? And then I'll hit it with some black spray paint and some pewter or silver metallic spray. I'll test a little section right here, see what it looks like. It's very subtle, but when you get up to it, it looks, <laughs> That's gonna look neat. It's gonna be very subtle, like the, the light has to catch it right. Yeah, that's gonna be neat. That's a cool recipe. Spray paint over a black galaxy with silver metallic. What an easy recipe. Boy, look at that. That's really, really neat. I like it, man. Let it do its thing for a while and I think we're gonna get some neat stuff. Isopropyl? Yeah. Black spray paint, silver isopropyl. Un un galaxy. Uh huh. There. Underneath. Wow, dude. That's really pretty, though. Yeah, you could do that with any metallic color over any other color and get different recipes. Yeah, you could use the uh, different color glitter, even. Yeah. Bronze Galaxy under there or something. Yeah. But, you know? But I used uh, about one, one and a half ounces per square foot here, Mitch. Oh, you went light. When I, I trowel it with the popsicle stick. <laughs> And look at how well it's leveling. It is leveling well, and your edges are looking really good too. That silver is rolling over this front edge. It's looking nice. See that? All right, guys, we decided we love this recipe. One of the unlocks is we just use a thin coat of epoxy, so spraying the metallics on there, it isn't going over the edges. It's really just sitting right on top. However, it's dimply because we sprayed the alcohol. So what does that mean? We're gonna do a clear coat tomorrow, but I think we're gonna add a little bit of bronze, maybe a little silver glitter, just to bring that layer back on top to give you more depth into this piece. What do you think? Stay tuned, see how it comes out.
All right, guys, it's time for the clear coat. It's been about eight hours. I sanded, I wiped the dust, I cleaned it with some alcohol, and now I'm mixing the same epoxy at a one-to-one -one ratio for about two minutes using our drill. I'm gonna add a little bit of bronze glitter and a little silver glitter just to give another layer. That's gonna be another layer on top of what we've already done. I think it's gonna bring everything together and adding that bronze will just be another element of interest. I hope it comes out good. Let's go. All right, look at the bronze glitter. Look at that color. I absolutely love this color. Let's see what it looks like over this dark. You don't need a lot, just a little bit. And then I'm gonna add a touch of silver as well. What do you think? Just a touch, a little dab will do ya. <laughs> Here we go. Ready, Freddy? Oh, I could already tell you that that's going to be a home run. There's just enough of that where, you know, mixing the two different styles. I think that's cool because your eyes playing a trick on you. You're thinking, is it silver or is it bronze? You know, it's not just all the same, the same color. All right, here we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is so cool. You know, and we did not use very much epoxy yesterday. Today, I wanted to, to lay out like glass, so I'm doing three ounces per square foot, and then that one eighth trowel is just the perfect height to get it to lay out like glass. Yesterday, we did like one and a half ounces per square foot because I, I was just using excess from another project. So I saved a little epoxy because I didn't need these elaborate looks today in, the, in this recipe. So going cheap sometimes pays off, not all the time but sometimes. All right, so I'll prime my brush right here. I'm gonna chop this out. Nice. That's really cool looking, man. It's not overwhelming or overbearing, right? It almost looks like fiber optic lighting, man. Really holographic, that glitter is, is awesome. Now I'm just chopping out those lines from my trowel, mixing the material one more time on the surface and breaking any surface tension where I may have a dry spot where the epoxy hasn't hit. And then I'll torch this out and it's done. This was a very simple recipe and it's, it's transferable to any color scheme that you want. Just adjust the color of your board adjust the uh, the color of the metallic and adjust the color of the glitter with those three variables all you mathematicians out there um, let's say you had I don't know really you have infinite colors that you could paint on the board l l let's say you only had 20 colors that you could paint what do we have about eight different colors of glitter we have about uh, currently we have about 25 colors of metallic powder but that's about to change to about 75 colors. So let's go to 75 colors of powder, 20 colors of paint, and eight colors of glitter. How many different combinations are available? <laughs> Mathematicians, let us know in the comments below. I would say several. Several. Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Luke with Stone Co. and this is the question of the day. So as you just found out, the color options for this countertop recipe are basically limitless. So with that said, what do you think the best color combination would be for this recipe? That's the color of the board, the color of the glitter, and the color of the metallic. Let us know in the comments below what do you think would look best, and we might just do that next. We'll see you there. You got this.
Okay, I'm gonna torch it out. Boy, this looks complex, but it was so easy. And with the particle size of that glitter, you could actually put it in this coat and it doesn't create high points. Typically a glitter's too bulky, you'll see like little mountains sticking up. This ain't your mama's craft glitter. I know what you're asking right now. You're saying, Mike, where do I get my hands on some of that special glitter? Where do I find that? You find anything and everything in this video right there at StoneCoatCountertops.com. What do you think, man? Ooh, really? Do you, do, no. you, do you like the bronze? I do. Sick. You didn't, where's the mix at? Yeah, you didn't use much, huh? No. Good, good call. It's more sparkly. Yeah. I like that better. It looks Not fancy. That I hated the other one. It, 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 it almost looks uh, like tiny fiber optics in there. I agree. I love the dip, the two colors. Wow, that's cool glitter. Like, don't waste your time on fiber optics. Add our special glitter. Add the stone coat glitter. Don't do fiber optics. It's, it's not overwhelming either, you know? Like, and you totally don't need to do fiber optics. It's a waste of time. Uh, fiber optics is a thing of the past. <laughs> yeah. Blast from the past. Use stone coat holographic glitter. No. Fiber optics, gotta go. Yo, you gotta go, fiber optics. We have glitter. <clears throat> <laughs>